Okay. If I hadn't talked so much, we might have gotten through the arm, but I'm going to model the retainer here. So it is pretty simple. I'm going to make a new part, standard IPT. I can just use this center point because all I have is a circle to extrude. There's no reason to make a revolve in this. If you want to, that's fine. But I'm going to right click on this because you see it's going for a radius. So right click and go to diameter. And that will be a diameter of two. And if I wanted to share this sketch, I could put the other point in there. But let's just go ahead and extrude this. Now, I could make this hole as an extrusion or I could make it as a hole. It's up to you. So I'm just going to extrude this and make a concentric hole. And we'll make this 0.25 deep. I'm going to save this as retainer. Now I'm going to make a concentric hole, H. I'm going to offset the location of my point. So I remember to select a concentric surface or edge. And now I can see that it's located. This has a simple hole that is 0.563. And it goes through all right there. I'll say OK. Now, I can't make this next point. I couldn't just say apply and go to the next because I need a bolt circle. So I'm going to select this face and create a sketch. And I'm going to draw a concentric circle right here with a diameter of 1.5 for my bolt circle. And now notice that the northern point right here is the only one that's on a quadrant. So I'm going to project geometry of some plane that goes right through that northern quadrant. Now I'm going to put a point at that intersection. Now I'm going to type H for hole because I'm never going to pattern points. I'm going to pattern the features. This is a simple hole with the diameter of 0 0.203. This is a clearance hole for the screws that hold the shaft into the body. And it goes through wall, simple hole, and say OK. I'm going to go to my home view here, and I'm going to pick up that hole. I like to pre-select, I don't know why, but I'm going to pre-select the hole and go to a circular pattern. And for my rotation axis, I'm going to select the inside, the outside. Sometimes it really doesn't matter, but, you know, if you think about what feature is, is really trying to be centered here, the center hole is where the shaft comes out, and the outside could be four inches. It really doesn't matter. So I'm going to select that one. We've got three of these in 360 degrees and say OK. And our retainer is done. But once again, we have a retainer of steel. So I'm going to pull open this marked up input sheet. And I will be making these different, but you can open those to see what the material is if you want to as you go. Here's the retainer. And we're going to use AISI 1080 steel again. So I'm going to go to my material here. Type S for steel to get to the top of that. 1080. And then give it another color other than orange because it's going to be attached to it. So let's go and grab something else. I hate that color. I, I don't know why. I, I hate to waste time on doing this, but there we go. And then I'm going to save this part. So now we're finished with almost all the parts that we need to model. The last one will be the arm. Now the arm I model very, very differently. I extrude this, both cylinders symmetrically. I extrude the arm symmetrically from the same plane. And you're going to find when you look at those dimensions, that makes sense. But if you haven't modeled this before, you might want to watch that video before you do the arm if you want to do that before we 
get together in class again on Tuesday. On Tuesday, I'm going to start off with the arm. We're going to move into the assembly, the IPN, and probably get the drawing started. So if you can, model at least the parts up to this point. Okay, if you want to model that arm, watch that video on modeling that arm before you do that because it's going to talk about this keyway cut too. All right, and I'm going to stop right here and I'll be here until 530. If you guys have any questions or you'd like to work on a project with me that you haven't finished yet, if you have questions about it, this is a good time to, to do some one-on-one -on -one work. Thanks, guys.